Good morning, it is Tuesday, December 5th, and today I will be working on the sayas for the arrowhead knives. So I'll get all those cut up. We basically casted them as one big piece uh, just because it would use less resin and we don't have like ice cubes that were the right size. So, so I'll get those cut up, I'll get them shaped and drilled, and hopefully I'll get them attached today. That's kind of the goal of, of where I'm at for how much I want to get done on them. Um, and if I have any extra time, I will continue working on this uh, Magna Cut Gyoto. I got some grinding done on Saturday. Uh, it's looking good. It's looking nice and homogenous. Uh, a couple things I want to try finish wise uh, on Magna Cut, which is why I was very specific about how I did the Magna Cut batch. Uh, but really, that's it for me for today. Here's Daniel with what he's got going on. Hey, hey, everyone. Hope you all had a great weekend. Just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, I have got some extra grinding all done on this batch. I've even got the little Hanasukis going. But I'm kind of paused right now because I want to get some other belts in. And then yes, uh, Saturday, uh, a bunch of us were grinding. So I let Jake be on the grinder while I took care of some other stuff. I have got some 120s that I am rehandling and I've got some guard material that I'm basically getting fitted for it. I've got one done, so the brass is all taken care of. I have not shaped that yet, so don't, you know, scrutinize me for this rough shape. That's going to probably be the main focus of today. I've got some other ins and outs that I've got to take care of. And then it is Tuesday, so industry sharpening is a priority and a thing that does tend to happen. That will probably be it. So we're going to go ahead and walk in our favorite place with our favorite guy. Russell, what's up, bud? It's good. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about Corin's Royal Blue Gyoto. So we have the 210 and the 240 Gyoto, and it's in this lovely... Uh, blue laminate hardwood. Uh, you can see the Corin logo on it. This is in a Japanese OS 8. Um, and so the, the 210 is like 8.2 inches, I believe it is. And then the 240 is like uh, 8.4. Um, no, that's got to be longer than that. Anyway, it's 240 millimeters. Um, just a, a big giant of a knife. Um, yeah. Right on, y'all. As always, make sure you're liking, subscribing, and interacting with us however you feel fit. Once again, hope everyone had a great weekend. We'll start it off here, wrap it up. See you on the next one. Peace. Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 6th, and I did not get a ton done yesterday. What I did get done is I got the actual arrowheads that are cast in resin. I got them cut apart. I didn't have time for shaping or any other Saya building. So today my focus is on, on these. Um, literally, I'll get them shaped. I will get them attached to the leather and hopefully drilled, if not stitched onto it, then I can complete the last part of the Saya's uh, snaps and stitching the rest of it. So that's my plan for the day. Got a couple admin things to do, but outside of that, focusing on the Arrowhead Gyoto Saya's. That's me. Here's Danny with what he's got going on. Hey everyone, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, pretty similar to Russell. A lot of admin stuff yesterday. We actually had a visitor, uh, a gentleman by the name of Clay from Twisted Arrow Goods here in Houston. Uh, funny enough, we've tried reaching out to him and he found us out through our YouTube channel. That's kind of cool. Uh, so appreciate you. Shout out to you. He's a great, fun leather goods store. Does everything handmade himself with a couple people that he's got helping them out. So uh, looking forward to our relationship going from here because uh, we do have some things that we are going to be working with him on. Excited to see coming up in the future. But nonetheless, with that said, I got very little done. So I've got this one here that I showed you guys yesterday and I've got this one that's almost there. That's, that's basically it. So we'll go ahead and walk to our favorite place now with our favorite guy who you see me chasing him. Yeah. It's Russell. Yeah. What's up, bud? It's good. What do we got today? Today we're going to talk a little bit about we got restocked with Benchmade fixed blades yesterday, which is part of the admin we did. Um, so this is the anonymous. This is OD Green G10 with CPM crew wear and it's got that gray Cerakote on it. Um, nice, big, this is more of their tactical line and I'm, I'm getting it dirty, but don't worry, it cleans really well. Um, and then we have two different iterations of the Raghorn. There's the base one and this is in CPM S30V with OD Green G10. And then we have the upgraded version, which is in CPM crew wear with the orange Cerakote and this lovely 
carbon fiber handle. I do, I, I on the Hunt series, I love the jimping they put in. Like they put jimping in for the thumb, they put jimping in for the finger. Um, just really enjoy how they do that. And this ramp down is, it's just so comfortable. Um, so yeah, so these are all in stock, ready to go. Check us out. Right on, as usual y'all, if you have any questions, hit us up however you feel fit. We'll wrap it up here, see you on the next one. Good morning, it's Thursday, December 7th, and I got some good work done on the arrowhead. So I got them down to shape. So I kind of had the idea of like doing similar shapes for all of them, but that just wasn't wasn't working for me. So I kind of mimicked the shapes of the arrowheads uh, a little bit. I won't say perfectly, but just kind of the, the idea of. Um, so got them, got them cleaned up a little bit. I did a little test fitting. So what I will be doing today is getting these fully polished like glass like you saw them before uh i'll be drilling holes in them uh chamfering all this and then getting them attached to the sayas hopefully i will be able to get the sayas glued up and stitched um i just still have to w figure out this the little bit of the snap things um but that shouldn't be a major issue it's just kind of best place to put them basically um so literally it'll be sayas all day for me today Hopefully I can get them close to completion uh, because I will be out of town tomorrow and Saturday. So I'll come back on Tuesday and hopefully finish up the knives and have a couple days to spare. That would make me very happy. Um, other than that, here is Daniel with what he's got going on. Ooh, he's had a big oh. yawn. Sorry oh. guys, just to catch up with what's going on in my world. I have got my batch pretty ground on roughly, um, getting them down to thinness and going up the grits at the moment. I've also got the tuna sword out of the clamps. It is still bent. We've gonna, we are gonna have to do some other methods of trying to get this straight tinned a little better. So uh, we'll go back to the drawing board on this, figure it out, go forward from there. Yesterday, uh, towards the end of the day, after I kind of lulled myself in grinding, I took an hour right before the end of the day and started working on this uh, Benchmade Autocrat that came in customer was willing to let me work on it um because i've yet to work on it out the front from them and uh try to put it back together i've had some success as far as what i think i'm doing and trying to get it back to working order but just real close because a lot of the small parts are pretty finicky so should wrap that up here right when i get done recording and on to that <clears throat> and that's going to basically be the majority of my day so we'll go ahead and take us into the, our favorite spot with our favorite guy, Russell. What's up, bud? It's good. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about a Randall Model 19. This is the Bushmaster. Almost forgot it again. Um, so this is in 01 tool steel with a leather stacked handle, um, brass guard, aluminum pommel, and uh, a lot of the things they, they do at Randall are still literally the old ways that they used to do them. Um, so just great purpose-built knives. Um, they are known for this big uh, kind of blade choil right there. Uh, you can go around the guard and, and choke up on it. Um, they also, on this one, they have this cool little ramp to where if your hand fits there. Uh, I will say, don't go up and do this because this is sharp on the back. Um, this is not in stock yet, uh, but we will have it in stock soon. We've got to do a little research because I know just enough about Randall knives to know like, like they did only did these rough out sheaths for a couple years. So we're going to try to find like the, the date range that this could have been made in. It's also unique that, um, in that same time frame, they had already had their, their personalized or customized Randall snaps made, snaps made. And this one doesn't have them, so it could be the same issue with the, the with, with with the leather with the rough out. Um, so basically, for a a time frame, there was a national leather shortage, uh, as my understanding. This could be wrong, and so they had to change how they made their sheaths. Um, so we will get more information on that, and when we put it on the website, we'll have all of those details there, and you'll be able to look at it. But yeah, just a cool piece to have in stock. This is in on consignment. Uh, we've got a, a customer whose dad loved to buy Randall knives, so he's got a just a bunch of them in his collection, and they're just sitting there. So he's like, hey, let some people look at them. If they want to buy them, let's go. Right on. All right, y'all, as usual, we'll wrap it up here. Make sure you're interacting with us however you feel fit. See ya. All right, everybody, it's December 8th, Friday. Uh, it's a little noisy because we've been busy. I'm filming a little late. Luckily, I've got my guy Jake 
Yak here sharpening all the scissors we've got going on at this moment. Um, just to kind of get you up to speed with what's going on. Still grinding on my batch, should be doing that. Jake's working on this guy as well as this guy. This one's coming out very, very pretty. Um, and then, if we go up front, which I can't really do a, a showcase anything for you, but if you want to take a look, I've got boxes going out, boxes coming in. So there's a lot of craziness. I think we've got a restock of our Warrior Series Tonto. So that guy just came in and I've got the Gold Lion Katana as well as some new ones coming in. Should be able to show you guys, if not tomorrow, hopefully when Russell's back so that way he can help kind of you know, take on a lot of the things that are going on up here. But nonetheless, that's what's going on today. Should show you some progress tomorrow. Hopefully it's a lot sooner and I get this video up to you guys today. Wrapping it up here. See you on the next one. Peace.